<laughs> Did you hear the news? The president of Brazil has been hospitalized. That's sad, but not unusual. Thousands of people are hospitalized every single day for various conditions. But what makes the Brazilian president's hospitalization more curious is that he was hospitalized for hiccups 10 days in a row? Ah! <gasps> oh! Hiccups for a couple of minutes? Inconvenient, not a big deal. Hiccups for an hour? All right, a little annoying, but we can handle it. Hiccups for 10 days? I am positive. There's a bad adjective for that, at least one that's not polite enough to say out loud. <laughs> Anyone who's had hiccups can imagine how tiring and miserable it can be to have hiccups for 10 days straight, just like the Brazilian president. All that muscle shaking, all that hiccuping, that diaphragm moving, ah! <laughs> Howdy y'all, Dr. Samir here, AKA your poop guru, giving you the best tips and tricks to keep you healthy from one end to the other so you can live your best life. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about hiccups. What are they? What causes them? And what you can do about that? I'm gonna give you four remedies that you can use today to fix your hiccups. And keep watching because number three is a doozy and just might make you smile and laugh. And if you're hiccuping during this video, that big laugh actually may fix your hiccups right now. So let's talk about poop. So the Brazilian president underwent a battery of tests to figure out exactly why he was hiccuping for 10 days straight. He actually had to be hospitalized to figure out what's going on. He suffered a personal assault a couple of years ago when he was actually stabbed. His intestines were damaged and he had internal bleeding. And doctors were wondering, could these chronic hiccups be due to that? Now hopefully you've never come close to hiccuping for 10 days straight. I really hope you haven't had that issue. But anyone who's had hiccups understands the frustrations, <laughs> the fatigue, the annoyance of how hiccups can really just take over your life and take over your day. You can't talk on the phone, you can't go out, can't carry a conversation. You're the guy who everyone's saying, man, that guy's hiccuping too much. So what exactly causes hiccups? Well, you may be surprised the hiccups don't start up here but down below in your body in what's called the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a muscle that helps separate your lungs from the lower half of your body. And this is innervated by a nerve called the vagus nerve. So whenever you take a deep breath in, your diaphragm expands to open up your chest to get more air into your lungs. Then it relaxes and that air flows out so you can exhale. But if something irritates that diaphragm, it'll go into spasms and that spasm forces you to suck in air quickly and go into your throat, then it hits your voice box. And when that air hits that voice box, the vocal cords close, and that's that typical hick you hear when you have hiccups. So what can cause hiccups? If you've had hiccups for more than 48 hours, my prayers to you, but here's some causes of why that could be. Number one, drinking carbonated beverages. Number two, drinking too much alcohol. Number three, just eating too much, getting your belly big and irritating that diaphragm. Number four, excitement or being stressed out. Number five, sudden temperature changes can really cause irritation of your nerves. And then lastly, swallowing air. If you're eating too much, drinking through a straw, or chewing gum, or having hard candy. So what can you do to help get rid of those hiccups? There are so many remedies out there on the internet. Some of them are crazy, often left field, but some actually have legitimate science behind them. Here are three remedies you can do today to help out with those hiccups. Number one, hold your breath. Take a deep breath in, expand that diaphragm, then exhale slowly for 10 to 20 seconds. This will expand your diaphragm, relax that diaphragm, and hopefully prevent the spasm from occurring. Do this as many times as necessary to knock those hiccups down. Number two, hug your knees. Grab your knees, pull them to your chest, and hold them and hug them tight. That will contract that diaphragm, break that spasm, and hopefully break up those hiccups. Try and do this for at least two minutes. Number three, the doozy. Pull out the tongue and hold it out. I don't know if you heard me. Pull out your tongue and actually hold it out. This will stimulate the nerves and the muscles in your throat and neck. Grab the tip of your tongue 
and pull it once or twice. Number four, drink ice water. Slowly sipping ice water will help stimulate the vagus nerve to relax that diaphragm. Hiccups never show up at a convenient time. It sucks when you have them. And since they can be predicted, you really can't prevent them from occurring. But when they do occur, we have options to get them fixed for you. Here's a healthy habit that you can do to help avoid hiccups. Don't eat quickly or drink quickly. Don't be a sloppy eater. Don't swallow all that air. Take your time. Relax. Eating and drinking too fast can cause hiccups. So take your time. Enjoy that conversation. Relax. Chill out. And keep those hiccups from being an unwanted guest. And as always, let me know if you have any questions. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to a weekly newsletter. I'll put a link right here where you get great tips and tricks from yours truly every week. Hope you guys have a happy and healthy day. And don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks, guys.